Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I thought we'd do today is make another project in the forge. And today, I'm gonna to work on something that's a little more intricate. I wanna make a gimlet. And a gimlet is something that helps you start a hole. So it's a screwing and drilling type device. Now you can use just a regular square pointed awl for this and it will work fine. But what that does is it kind of twists in and separates the fibers. What I'm looking for is something that will actually sever the fibers and drill a little bit of a hole. So I'm gonna experiment with that a little bit today. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna find out. So we started out by twisting sort of a drill bit into the end of this. And now I'm gonna draw the other end out a little bit because I wanna be able to put a T-handle on here, similar to my square-sided awl. And then we're gonna dress this up a little bit and see if we can't make it actually bore a hole that is the diameter of our widest point here. So let's take a look at it, see what we can do. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I've looked at some medieval examples. I've looked at some Viking examples and they're very similar to this and they're very simplistic in nature. So I wanna see how this is gonna work out and whether it's a worthwhile tool having over just a simple square sided all. Stay with me. One of the things that I didn't mention at the beginning of this video was that I am using a piece of 1095 rod. I'm actually using a spring or tool type steel for this device because it's going to be under some stress and I don't want it to bend or break. With a regular awl, you can get away with a little bit more because you're not going to really put a lot of force into that thing. But if you're using something that you're actually trying to drill holes into wood with, that may be a thicker piece of wood than bark or something like that, you're probably gonna wanna use a tool type steel and you could use something recycled for that. This happens to be a piece of new 1095 rod. But then again, all 1095 is recycled steel anyway. I just bought it pre-manufactured in this, I think it's about a 3 8 inch rod. Okay, so I've got my initial shape, and now I'm gonna do some rough grinding to get this thing kinda of more like what I want. Now the other thing I wanna accomplish while I'm doing this, I wanna get this tip ground down to a point, and this should work pretty good when I get done. So. I got a little bit more removed here. And I'm just doing that on the belt, on the flat side of the belt. And cooling it down between passes. Okay, I'm pretty much where I want to be now on the final grind of this thing. Got a really nice screw point on the front of this. Now we're going to heat treat this dude. All right, so we heated this dude up and we quenched it in oil. Heated it to pretty much critical, non-magnetic over here in the forge and then quenched it in oil and it looks pretty good. We're getting there. We're going to go ahead and put it in the oven for two hours on about 425 degrees. And then we're actually going to punch this thing through some wood and see how she works. Okay, so while we were waiting on this thing to heat treat, we went ahead and made a toggle a t-handle for it that's a tight fit going in when it's turned in one direction it's kind of oblong like the eye 
So we're going to turn in one direction. It's a friction fit. And that gives us a T-handle that we could manufacture in the woods. And we only have to carry this. We can make the T-handle anywhere we want to. And it gives us a gimlet to use in our woodcrafting kit. And again, this was a second tool to the awl that was found even in the Mastomir chest, the Viking tool chest. This tool was in there. So I wanted to kind of try my hand at making one of these. And I guess the only thing to do now is to shove this thing into a piece of wood. See how she works. Stay with me. All right, so now... We should just be able to seat the thing. And as we screw it, it should almost self-feed as we push it down in because it's threaded or because it's furled, I should say. And it should not split the fibers out. It should actually drill the fibers. And you can see it's got some fibers in those twirls there. So if we were just drilling a hole through a piece of wood, I would say this would do it. I'd say we're getting close to being through this piece of wood already, this piece of pine. Oh yeah, we're already through the other side. So now I'm just going to pull it out and you can see that we have a hole straight through here on both sides that we've drilled in there with our gimlet viking drill bit whatever you want to call it it absolutely works all right guys well i appreciate you joining me today out here in the shop to work on this viking drill bit or this gimlet as they were called and you know it worked that's the bottom line so what's the difference between a gimlet like this and something like an awl well, I discussed that a little bit in the beginning of this video in that an awl is going to push into the wood and it's going to separate fibers and that's all it's going to do. And at that point, it can crack wood very easily, especially if you have a larger diameter on that awl. Whereas a gimlet like this is set up to actually drill into the wood and cut the fibers and then remove those fibers. As you can see in that piece of pine that we drilled into earlier, it will make a hole that doesn't split things out. And that's really the difference between a gimlet and an awl is that you're making a small handheld drill bit with a gimlet and an awl is just basically a pushing, punching tool. So having both of them is a good idea. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you guys for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.